Let me ask you this question now. What do you like to eat for breakfast? Do you prefer sunny side up kind of mornings? Or if you are a meat lover, some eggs with sizzling sausages on the side perhaps? Or maybe the classic bacon, lettuce and tomato sandwich to go with your coffee? Frozen meats have become a breakfast staple for most people. You just have to take them out of the freezer, heat them up and just like that, your breakfast is ready. Meats are packed with micronutrients like proteins and can be cooked within minutes. But what if I tell you that this protein-rich meal can actually make you sick? It could give you cancer. Let me explain how. Regular meat is cured, fermented and smoked. It undergoes several processes to be transformed into frozen meat. The processing improves the flavour, it also enhances the meat's shelf life. But it has several downsides which ring alarm bells but are being conveniently ignored. Nitrites. Does this chemical sound familiar to you? It might remind you of your chemistry lessons back in school. Nitrite is a key player in the frozen meat industry and this chemical is actively used to prevent bacterial growth and improve meat's shelf life. It also makes the meat tastier and more appetizing. There are several regulations around using nitrites in meat processing. The EU legislation allows only limited use of this chemical. But the bigger question is, are those regulations followed? And just how accurate are they? Let's get to the math now. The WHO says you can eat up to 3.7 milligrams of nitrites per kilogram of your body weight. For example, if you weigh 60 kgs, you can take up to 222 milligrams of nitrites. Now this limit can very easily be exceeded if you regularly consume frozen meats. A study by the scientists of Queen's University Belfast found some concerning results. The researchers conducted an experiment. They fed processed meat diet to mice. The meats contained nitrites and other chemicals which are used to cure bacon. They also fed nitrite-free pork to another group of mice and the results were shocking. The mice who ate the nitrite-rich bacon developed 75% more cancerous tumours as compared to the second group. About 90% of the bacon sold in the UK is thought to contain nitrites. Daily intake of this chemical can significantly increase the risk of cancer. The WHO has already classified frozen meats as group 1 carcinogens. Note here that smoking also falls in the very same category. And there is convincing evidence that they cause cancer. And the recent study cl clarifies this further. It's not just the meat that raises concerns, it's the way it is cooked as well. Cooking food at high temperatures kills bacteria and is generally considered safe but when it comes to processed meat, it's not as healthy as you might think it is. And here's why. Nitrites in processed meats are closely related to proteins. When cooked at high temperatures, they easily form nitrosamines. And this compound causes cancer. And that is why pan-fried bacons and grilled salamis raise red flags. Nitrosamines are not the only culprit though. Another carcinogen is polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbons. They are commonly found in smoked meats. Heterocyclic amines are also on the list. They are created when meat is cooked over an open flame. And all these compounds are tumour promoting and can lead to bowel, colon and rectal cancer. Processed meats have been recognized as carcinogens for years now, yet we prefer to stick our fingers in our ears and carry on. And why is that? It could be our fast lifestyle. Frozen meats are simply convenient. The pandemic further pumped up their consumption. More often than not, the fact that they can cause cancer is quite, quite easily overlooked because there are no immediate consequences. And just like smoking, you don't get cancer if you smoke once or twice. If you eat frozen meat once in a while, you are most probably safe. 
But if they become an essential part of your diet, then you should be concerned. What are the meat manufacturers doing about this? They claim that additives ensure the safety of the meat. But is that even true? Bacon is made from a solid slab of fat and muscle. Unlike minced meat, it doesn't really need nitrites. But manufacturers use it regardless because it speeds up the curing. It saves money and gives bacon its characteristic color. But is that really necessary? There are some British companies that produce nitrite-free bacon. But one of them vanished without a trace. And that is because consumers were put off by the grey colour, which was in fact healthier than the rosy pink one. So there are a lot of things to consider. Most importantly, our eating habits. But overall, frozen meats are bad news. Sticking to natural alternatives is better while they take a little more time and effort to be cooked they are safer and don't put you at risk of cancer we are now available in your country download the app now get all the news on the move